So this He-Man of the Masters of the Universe is a classic toy. He's been around for a long time. I think he's one of the original like versions of toys that get gets an animated series to essentially promote the toy and help it sell more. And it worked really, really well. So we're going to take a, a trip back down memory lane and see how I might improve or modernize He-Man. Why? Because. I have the power as a reference. I'm sorry, let's get started. Getting started, it's got to get all my supplies ready. And of course, it's the Mega Minis box. It's got everything I need to do this project and every other project. So I've got all my materials ready and I am ready to make a mess of this man. So with everything ready to go, the first stage is to strip it back a bit. Starting off with that goddamn hairstyle. Wow, just wow. There are a lot of other things about the hero that I wanted to modernize and refine, but the first thing I wanted to do was actually pick the pose. And this isn't the same as the old or classic versions of the He-Man figures. It's actually very poseable and really well made. I was quite surprised actually. So I fiddled around until I came up with what I thought was a really organic and confident, cool pose. I ended up swapping the ax for the sword, even though it's actually meant to go on the back and you can see from the little dots on it that it's meant to click into the back there and not meant to really be a, a weapon it looks a bit odd but that's the he-man sword so I'm going with the sword now as you can see I fully glued my pose in place I picked a position this guy was going to be in and don't want him to move because I want him to look as confident and cool and refined as possible but frankly I'm not going to be able to do that if he has all these weird ball joints everywhere it's just going to look that little too uncanny and weird and I'm just going to go for a bit more of a display miniature look rather than like a poseable action figure and after clipping off some of the goofier elements I started adding a little bit of realism by carving the fur myself and also filling in those joints and as soon as possible replacing that hairstyle with something a little more organic and a little more stylish. Millipart, which is the stuff I'm using to sculpt, is really cool. It's like an, a water-based epoxy sculpting medium. After the course of about an hour or two, becomes really hard and slightly rubbery. It's really cool. It actually means, especially in a project like this, I can really smooth things out. The point is, with that little bit of water and some rubber shaping tools, or even just some synthetic brushes, some knives and pokey tools, you can get some really refined sculpture and some really cool capabilities. It's really quite fun. To make him look a little more badass and a little less creepy, I sculpted a shoulder pad uh, that I added to his left shoulder. And with that smoothed out and uh, made to look rigid as much as possible at least, I went through and slightly weathered some of the plastic and other areas of the sculpture and then left him overnight to cure to come back for the paint job the next day. But let's just take a moment to appreciate where we came from and where we ended up. And this is without paint, but I gotta say, I think this is a super epic improvement. I thought it'd be cool to create a little bit of a base for them both to stand on, sort of back to back and facing the opposite direction so that we can see the classic He-Man look and the new He-Man look. Just by using some styrofoam, some cork, and a little bit of glue, you can put together some really cool looking rocky formations. Sometimes I actually find it really helpful to use the pointy tweezers to actually push in and tear out just chunks to make it look as rocky as possible. Gluing that all together, then came that next magical step that you guys have seen me do a million times, glue roll and glue. But the pro tip, of course, is to mix the glue and water with a bit of paint. So I put in a bunch of black paint, a little bit of brown paint, with all that mixed together, painting that toilet paper onto the, uh, the little set that I'd built, creates a really cool texture which will eventually dry and be already primed and ready to paint the final coats of paint on. And another really cool step you sort of get to skip ahead on is adding some detail. I've just soaked this whole thing in watered down glue. Stuff I chuck on it is gonna be stuck to it. So I grabbed a bunch of the little pebbles. All of a sudden I have a base I think is gonna be really cool to uh, add some detail and flourish to later to really highlight my He-Men. All right, time to prime this guy. So by applying a brush on primer all over my model, it basically makes all of the surfaces of the model not only ready to paint, but also uniform in texture. The other effect of putting this stuff down is it really ties it all in together.
Now I actually have a minute while I wait for He-Man and the bass to dry to just touch base with you with some really exciting news. A couple of weeks ago I mentioned that there might be some big changes happening to this channel in 2021 and it so happened that by the time that video came out we'd already found our future home. I'd, I've done a vlog of it on the vlog channel, so I'll show you a little bit of a sneak peek here, but suffice it to say that things are gonna get a lot bigger. It is so, so exciting. And all of this is possible because of you. Almost two years ago, I sold the Jazzy Art Box for a limited time. The support that we got from that allowed us then to do the same thing, but a lot bigger. So the Ultimate Creativity Collection was then possible. And because of your support of the Ultimate Creativity Collection, we could buy this studio. So th thank you. Just thank you so much. So this is the very last plug. And if you haven't heard about the Ultimate Creativity Collection, now's your chance to go check it out because we're, we're, when we finish, we're not doing this ever again. By the time this video is live, there'll be under three days left for you to get either the Ink and Calligraphy box or the Miniatures box, which I've used heavily in this video, or the Ultimate Creativity Collection, which will include the Sculpture box. There is over $745 worth of art products and value in there, which is selling for $365, less than half of the price of the value of the contents and everyone who gets the ultimate creativity collection gets a signed print. This blows my mind. Like the amount of people who have made content using the ultimate creativity collection. Head on over to Instagram. You can check out using the hashtag Jazza Boxes. It's a huge amount of insane art projects of super talented people showing what they have made using these boxes. This gives me so much joy. Oh my God, <laughs> look at that. We got a French Jazza Marine. They sculpted baguettes and stuff. And you can do this on Twitter as well. We use hashtag Jazza Boxes. Check out the amazing stuff people have made. I am gonna do a big sharing reaction video Video. a couple of months from now when everyone's gotten all the boxes and we're done and dusted just as a final sort of I guess dusting our hands and maybe I'll even do it in the new studio as a way to celebrate what we have all achieved together anyway that is it for my little intrusion segment here I have a he-man that is waiting to be painted so finally the time has come to paint our He-Man. Starting off with the base coat, it's just flat colors, the skin, the fur, the leather, the hair, and then the metal areas are actually base coated in black. And then when the black was dry, I went on and dry brushed the metallic colors on top. Next, I move on to a wash layer. This is sort of a paint medium specifically for filling in all the shades and shadows. It's really quite fun to use and a really easy way to fill in a whole lot of detail pretty quickly. But it's in the next step that I really take my time and slowly but surely, layer by layer, bring out the highlights and really make this paint job pop. Now, if you find watching this process as satisfying as I do, and if you want to give it a go yourself, I highly recommend checking out the video I made on tabletop time, which I'll look at the card in the description, which is just the beginning guide to miniature painting. If you got the Mega Minis box, it's the guide that I've promised that I would put out on this channel, but YouTube doesn't really like me doing that sort of video on this channel. So I've actually put it up on tabletop time and go subscribe while you're there, because I'm going to be doing more projects like this, miniature painting, dioramas, and just really fun models and miniatures, as well as some really cool fun role play stuff that you can listen to in your spare time so go check that out but point is these are tried and true techniques going in with the highlights with that touch of yellow and just a little bit more hue variation and contrast I was really excited with how this paint job was developing
finally, I started to really like how the He-Man was looking, so with just some little detail tweaks here and there, it was about time to move on to the base. The little terrain diorama -y piece that would hold both of my He-Man on it, so I can show this off to you as well as possible. So without any further ado, I present to you, He-Man and He-Man. Here they are, old He-Man and new He-Man. This was a delight. I didn't expect it to end up so epic. And I, I love, like, I'm so glad that I bought two. I didn't know why I bought two when I bought two, but I guess this is why. The universe wanted me to create a display like this with them back to back. And I just, ah, oh, it's so perfect. I love it so much. So three things, just three. First, if you liked this and you want to do stuff like this, all the supplies I used were in the Mega Minis box and there's so much more in there and that's in the Ultimate Creativity Collection. You only have a couple of days left. The link's in the description and the countdown is on the website. Two, if you want to learn to do stuff like this and you enjoy a bit of that diorama mini painting stuff, there's going to be a lot more of that on Tabletop Time than on my main channel. In fact, every Monday is Mini Monday. So go subscribe to Tabletop Time for some really fun miniature and diorama projects and of course, some great stories in our tabletop sessions. And three, if you had fun in this video, make sure to click like and subscribe and that way you'll be sticking around for more future projects where I get carried away and I think they are pretty fun. Thank you so much for watching. I had a blast. I hope you did too. There are more videos somewhere on the screen for you to click on and enjoy. But that's it for now. Until next time. Oh! See you later.